All right, this topic is um, an introduction to rays, segments, and lines, mostly discussing the notation that we use, um, because no mathematician or person wants to write out the word ray, A, B, or segment, F, Q. Um, we want to just be able to write it quickly, make it efficient, and be able to tell the difference between when we're talking about a ray, a segment, or a line. All right, so a segment um, is something like this. It just has two endpoints. And the notation for it, that's going to be a segment, is very common sense, which is nice. Um, if we label this endpoint A and that endpoint B, we would call this segment AB. We wouldn't have to write it out like that, though. We just write the letters AB next to each other and we put a line over them. So that's how we would express segment AB. And again, this is something you want to put in your notes. It's the foundations of how to... Um, write about geometry, and geometry is extremely nitpicky. Um, you have to be really careful in geometry, dotting your I's, uh, crossing your T's, all that good stuff. So you might as well learn this and get this foundation firm so that you know what you're talking about. Um, a line obviously goes to infinity in both directions, and maybe you'll have some points in the middle of it. Whoops, that's supposed to be a D. Let me make that look like a D. <clears throat> And that point will be D. I'm even going to throw an E in here because that's how I roll. Um, <clears throat> so this one here is a line. There's no end point. goes on to infinity in both directions. Nothing that is new to you, I'm sure. Um, and the way that we express it in notation, instead of having to write out the word line, we pick two points on the line. You always need to have two points. Otherwise, if you just say line and you use one point, they're going to think you just mean point C. All right, so we're going to pick CD. And then the notation is like this. You just draw a little line over it. And again, it, it looks different than the way that we express segments, so that's how you can tell the difference. Um, if we wanted, we could have put DE. We could have put ED. We could have used CE, and so on. Um, you just need two points that goes through the line to express it. There are some cases where... Um, especially once you start dealing with parallel lines, you're talking about more than one line, where they'll draw the line like this and they'll just, usually it's a cursive letter, they'll use line L. And then they'll actually write it out. Um, sometimes, yeah, it's almost always a cursive letter for these. For the ones where they're using two, usually they'll have capital letters. I'm not sure why, but it's just how it's evolved. All right, so we have segments and we have lines, and that leaves... Uh, rays. Let me scoot this guy up. Alright, for a ray, it has one endpoint. And let's say that that's Q, S. Alright, so a ray has one endpoint. And it goes off in to infinity on the other direction. Rays are probably the most, the ones you have to think of the most, um, and it's not a super lot of thinking that you do, but you want to express it where the end point is the first letter. So we need to call this QS. We absolutely cannot call it SQ. And the segment, or sorry, the notation for ray is this on the top of the letters. Let's see if I can fix that S a little bit, make it a little neater. So this ray has to be named QS. And what it's telling you, if, if I hadn't have drawn the picture, when you see something like this written, it's telling you that this guy here is your endpoint. So Q is the endpoint. So if I hadn't dri uh, excuse me, if I hadn't have drawn out the ray for you, as soon as I wrote ray QS with the notation, you would know that that first letter represents the endpoint. And that's the nitpicky thing about rays. Um, yeah, so you, you cannot write SQ in that case. Can't think of anything else to talk about with rays. Um, but while I'm on the subject of introduction to geometry things, let's just talk a little bit about angles. Um, it's something that is sometimes overlooked. Um, but if you um, let me shift here, if you can uh, get back to the basics with geometry and how to express things correctly, it makes a big difference. So let's say um, we have this angle here, and my angles go off into all different directions or onto infinity. I mean. And I'm going to put a couple letters. This will be letter A, this will be letter B, and this will be letter C. This point here is has a special name. It's where the two rays 
um, leave from, and that is called the vertex. Again, I'm pretty sure it's a word you've heard before. It's all kinds of vertices in this world. Um, and the thing about naming angles correctly or writing them correctly with the right notation is the vertex has to be the middle number. So the vertex has to be the middle, uh, not number, has to be the, I think I need to scroll up, middle letter. So the angle that I drew is not called um, CAB, it's not called ACB, but it's called CBA. And how do I know you're talking about an angle? You need to put this little guy there in front of it. So now you're talking about the angle of CBA. You could also have called it, of course, ABC. Either one is correct for this angle. As long as you have that vertex as your middle letter, you're absolutely okay with it. Um, when you have, when you get to talk about polynomial, or sorry, polygons and um, kind of really simple figures, you'll see that sometimes to save uh, time, they might just call it angle B. That might be another way. You can do that in this case with the angle I've drawn because when I say find angle B, it's really clear what I'm talking about. Let me draw another instance where it's kind of ambiguous. So if I have something like this, and then I call this B and that A and this D and that C, and then I say, all right, show me where angle B is it's really unclear whether I'm talking about this angle B or this angle B. So you really need to be, um, need to be, you need to be clear about what you're talking about. So I would have to identify me as being the person that's talking about this. I would have to either indicate I'm talking about angle CBD or maybe I'm talking about angle ABD. So that's the um, problem, of the ch chore of doing that would fall on my shoulders because I'm the one that's trying to tell you to find it. Um, anything else I can think of? I didn't put my arrows in, but it's all the same. Um, I guess that's it for now. If I think of more, I'll add to it. Alright, thanks.